the dinosaurs. For sheer diversity and extravagance of form, there has never been anything like them. With these magnificent creatures, the age of the great reptiles came swiftly to an end. Theirs was an age of revolution in the restless history of the Earth. Their triumph was to survive for so long, over a hundred million years. Nellis to Alden, come in Alden. Go ahead, Nellis. Why haven't you returned to base? I've lost control of my aircraft. I can't steer. Have you lost power? Negative. The instruments appear functional, but they're not responding. The jet is currently maintaining altitude at 38,000 feet. It just seems to be flying in circles. The instrument panel is unresponsive, but it's still airborne? Affirmative, still airborne. Something's flying it, but it's not me. In my head I saw this image of a jungle. It was thick and hot like a rainforest. I got this urge to look out the cockpit and try to find that jungle, but all I could see was desert. It made me angry. It just felt wrong, unnatural. I closed my eyes and went back to that jungle. It was the only thing that could calm me down. Then I heard something moving through the trees. It was like looking at a dinosaur. Falling through the darkness to their burial ground. Layer piles upon layer and sinks into the depths till the debris is sealed under an immense weight of sediment. Now, the heat and pressure of the earth perform their curious chemistry, transforming plant and animal life into oil and gas. These things I was feeling, that I was seeing, I think it was the plane. Whatever had taken over my jet, I was sitting right inside of it. I could feel everything it felt. It wanted to go home. After we landed, she started digging up the ground by spinning her tires. She was looking for something. I got my crowbar from the cockpit and started pulling up dirt. Didn't take long. We found what she was looking for. I stepped away so she could be alone with her eggs. When I came back, I couldn't feel her anymore. I guess she's at peace now. I hope she is.